What's up guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com. We're about to go inside Inventory Lab. I'm gonna show you five retail arbitrage sales that I've done over the last 30 days. These are five different random products that you can find in any store around the world, all right? So we're gonna show you these products. I'm gonna detail the return on investment and the profit that I made off of these five products and talk about them a little bit just to prove to you that you can walk into any store and find those retail arbitrage opportunities let's get it all right guys thanks for checking out the video my name is Josh and I've been selling on Amazon since early 2017 January 1st 2017 to be exact so I'm going on four years of Amazon sales and retail arbitrage and online arbitrage is very much still alive you can still make profits on this stuff that you find in stores here are five examples this is the first one we're gonna go in order from the ones that may be the most profit and I'm even gonna go as far as to show you one that really didn't make me much profit profit at all because while it is possible to make money doing retail arbitrage that doesn't always work out as expected you don't make the profit that you think you will all the time and sometimes you do in fact lose money so I want to be open and honest and completely transparent with you guys it is possible to make money but yeah you can also lose money so I sold these Huggies diapers I sold three packs of these you can see right now it says 919 uh, that's definitely not what I got for him. I got a nice hefty uh, price tag. If we go over to Inventory Lab, we can look at this exact sale, Huggies Snug and Dry Diapers. I sold them for $28.99 a piece. My cost was $6.80. This was a clearance fine, so I did not pay full retail for this product. It was a clearance item, $6.80 is what I paid. My profit was $12.04 times three, so $36 off this uh, diaper find here. Profit is 41% and return on investment is 177%. Now this is the best one that you're gonna see out of the five that I'm gonna show you, but it's definitely possible to go out there in the clearance sections. Even if you just do clearance stuff, you can find those profits. $12 profit is pretty nice. Here's the next one that I sold, this seventh generation Ultra Power Plus. This was not a clearance fine. I paid full retail for this product. And I think I sold another three or four of these as well. So price currently is $24.07. Let's see, by a third party seller, but it's just laundry detergent, right? Laundry detergent packs. But I did, in fact, sell them here for $26.99 a piece. I paid $11.90. Like I said, I paid full retail for this product. My profit on it, $5.62. Nice little $5 bill in my pocket. 47% uh, return on investment. Only 20% profit margin on this, but still a healthy return on investment. So $5.62 profit on this. The next item that I sold is this Wubble Fuzzy Lulu the Panda. Now I have no clue what these things were, but I bought a handful of them uh, and a couple of different uh, characters because they were on clearance. This was a clearance find somewhat. It was discounted a little bit, but it was still a little pricey, so almost retail, but uh, it had a few bucks off of it. But I had no, I don't even know what this thing is. It's a fuzzy wobble. I don't know what that is. I guess you blow it up like a bubble or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't care. I saw that it had an opportunity for profit. So that's what I did. I bought a handful of these and a handful of the characters, sent them into Amazon, and they have, in fact, sold. This is one of the most recent ones that sold. $20.99 is the uh, prime offer on it now. I sold mine for $21.50, paid $9.75 at Target, bringing my profit to $5.04. So you can see the breakdown of the fees right here. You got the item price. You got the buy cost, you got Amazon's referral fee. So if you're new, let me just break this down for you. If you're new, the Amazon referral fee is just the commission that you pay Amazon basically for using their platform. And then you have the FBA fee, which is the fulfillment fee. This is what they charge you to pick, pack, and ship that item to the customer. So all in expenses, including that buy cost, is $16.46 minus that $21.50 leaves me a profit of $5.04 or 51.69% return on investment. Again, not a lot of profit margin on this, but the return on investment was there. All right, so on to the next one here. This one is emergency uh, drink powder, mixed powder right here. 
This is what I sold, a nice little pack. Again, this is another one of those items that I paid full retail for. This is not a clearance fine. Going right now for $23.50 uh, Prime, and they do sell quite often, which all of these products, if I go back, show you, I didn't even show you that, they do sell quite often, which is why I chose them to try and sell. This one especially is one of the best ones, but they do sell quite often or at least often enough for me to try to see if I can produce some profit and get some product inside Amazon and capture those sales and get out of the product if I need to. Uh, so this one here, $13 is what I paid for it. $24.42 is what I sold it for. Buy cost was $13. Amazon took $366, $348 to ship, leaving my expenses at $2014. My profit four dollars and 28 cents not a lot of profit but still it's decent if you look at the return on investment it's still a 32.92 percent return on investment uh so you have to kind of juggle the profit and the return on investment depending on how much money you got in your pocket right how much money do you have to spend it's going to dictate whether you need to take higher profit items or lower profits or whether you want to take higher ROIs or lower ROIs but for online arbitrage and retail arbitrage you know it's basically hovers around that 32 percent or 30 percent minimum okay I do go lower I will go low 25% return on investment, 20% return on investment if I know it's got higher profit in it. But these are all things that you need to decide. Uh, and it's really, like I said, based on how much capital, how much money you have in your pocket uh, to spend on inventory and how fast you want to turn that inventory over and get that money back to respend uh, in your inventory. So uh, that's definitely a topic for another video. But uh, let's go look at another sale. Now, this was the least... Uh, profitable sale it was still profitable but it was a little bit disappointing here it is scratch labs exercise hydration mix i sold i think three of these again my magic number tends to be three when i test the product i really just want to go in and buy three or four or five at the very most and ship that stuff in to see if it's going to sell how fast it's going to sell is it going to sell for the price i want in this case this definitely uh, took some time to sell and it did not sell for the price that i really wanted it for uh, so it didn't kind of check those boxes for me. So I went ahead and just discounted the price and got rid of it. But like I said, I still made some profit on it. So if we look at that right now, $21.25 is what I paid for this. Quite a hefty, uh, you know, price to gamble on some retail arbitrage, right? Which is why you only want to buy three or four at a time and kind of limit that risk because you don't ultimately know whether or not these are really going to be profitable or you're going to lower your price or it's going to tank or who knows what's going to happen on Amazon that will cause a product to go from profit to nothing in a second. So I sold these for $32.56. That's quite a big price tag on it. But with the uh, buy cost and the fees coming out, it was kind of a heavier item. All the fees totaled $31.03. And my profit was just $1.53. Kind of sad. Look, profit 4%. <laughs> ROI 7% uh, you know I'm thankful that I still made money it still was a profitable item was it worth it to go through the hassle of buying the item you know uh, bagging it shipping it putting a label on it getting it to Amazon and waiting for it to sell absolutely not but that's retail arbitrage that's online arbitrage that is the game with Amazon you're gonna take some wins and you're gonna take some losses but hopefully your wins are way better than your losses and you come out ahead in profit do not get discouraged guys i know there's a lot of things to get discouraged about especially if you're a brand new seller on amazon you're getting in this you're getting in that you can't sell this you can't sell that uh you're maybe you're in your first month or even in your second month a third month and you're still not seeing a positive balance in your amazon account look at the items you're sourcing look at the products that you have for sale look at the sales velocity look at the rank look at the profit margins and return on investment in each of them and figure out what you're doing wrong or uh you know what you can do better in order to turn a profit for your amazon business please do not give up i promise you uh, there is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or at least a small amount of time freedom a little bit of extra cash in your pocket each and every month if you can make this work my name is josh everydayfba.com is the website be sure and check the links in the description for a bunch of helpful resources for new amazon sellers just like you and i'll catch you on that next video